Hi, I'm Luann Aiken with Tagawa Gardens here in Centennial, Colorado, and we are with the head of Tagawa's perennial department, Ginger, who is going to give us a little lesson on planting perennials 101. Easy thing to do, but you need to get it right for the plant's health. What are we planting today, Ginger? Today we're planting a Linton rose. Beautiful flower, beautiful flower. Mm -hmm. And where do we start? You've got a shovel in hand. I'm assuming shovel it's in time hand. to dig. Yeah, pick out a spot in your garden. Go for it. Okay, this spot I've picked out in a pre-existing garden. And it's, so it's got some mulch here already. And you wanna move that mulch to one side when you've got a pre-existing garden. Then, uh, you wanna see how big your pot is. All right, because that's the size hole that you want to dig, except larger. You need to dig it at least this big, and hopefully uh, a couple inches on each side. A couple inches and a couple inches deeper? And a couple of inches deeper. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see what you dig. See what you Alrighty, find. All righty, let's go here. I wish I had that soil at home. Yeah, good old clay soil <laughs> we got going here. Good. All right, so you can see I'm making it wider. And I like to use this little shovel because this plants a one gallon, honestly, this plants a one gallon uh, perennial so easily. You can dig your hole very quickly, very deeply, and you want to make the bottom of the hole kind of squarish. So get that soil. So that plant will sit kind of flat out of the bottom of the hole, uh -huh. even using your hands if you have to. And then sometimes if you've dug it nice and deep, you want to take your, pl your plant and just set it down in. Pot and all. Pot and all to see if it's the right depth. That's a little deep, so what we're going to do is take some of this compost and we're going to work it into our soil that we have taken out of the hole. So and you're gonna mix that in with what you're going to put back in the hole. With your existing hole, hole. Okay. Uh, yeah, with your existing soil. So, and it's already kind of filled itself back in there. So, maybe a little bit more. Testing for depth. In there, okay. Now you're ready to take it out of the pot. Okay. So you just wanna grab this, and this one was a little stubborn because, Whoa. look at those roots. Whoa. That's. Is that a good thing? Yes. This is a very, very well-rooted plant, and when it's this well-rooted, you want to take your shovel and kind of score the roots, what we call score the roots a little bit, and rough them up. That's not hurting the plant? No. So don't freak out when I do this, but just kind of like that. That way it loosens it up. That way it can start to make new roots, because they'll branch out. So okay. Just kind of butterflying out that bottom uh -huh. of the part. Okay. Uh huh. And with one this firmly rooted, you may even want to do more than that. Don't have to worry about hurting it. Nope. This is very solid. Okay, so we set it in the hole. Roots are nice and loose. Uh huh. And maybe mix in a little bit more compost with your back fill at this point. Just fill in that hole. And you kind of want to tuck it in good is what we call it. Just tuck it in real good. You're not smashing it in, you're just gently... Exactly. You don't cram it down, you just kind of firm it so that it's not... Um, it's not... The soil packed. stays nice and loose, right? Yeah, but still nice and loose. And then, and then because we've taken so much more soil out and we've worked in compost, we've got some left. That's okay, you just want to make sure that it's at the pot level. I'm gonna hold this up, and so you can see that's where it was in the pot, and that's where it needs to be in the ground. And so that the soil line needs to stay the same from pot to planting hole. Exactly right. Okay. Exactly gonna right. Mark it. Always good to mark. Always good to mark it. And are you a believer in compost? In I'm mulch. sorry, in mulch? Yes. yes. I know you're because we moved compost. aside some mulch, but now goodness knows where all that's gone. So. If we just take some more and sprinkle it around the base of the plant, it doesn't have to be super thick, but it does help to hold in the moisture. Okay. That looks like a happy plant. One more step. 
one more step watering water your plant in right away right away and that way also you can tell if it's going to sink down and if it's going to sink down anymore you can take uh, steps to sort of lift it up at the, at this the time lift it up a little uh -huh. bit lift okay. it up a little bit and there you go how often it's should we water perennial. perennials at first, to get them established, you need to water them as needed. And we use a moisture meter a lot to tell how uh, wet the soil is. We've just watered this, so this soil is super wet. The moisture meter reads four, okay. it's about as wet as you can get. You want that moisture meter to read one or two, several inches down into the soil, and then you want to water your plant very thoroughly. And that'll be more often at first less often as it gets established. Perennial Planting 101 yep. from an expert here at Tagawas. Come see Ginger, come see her staff of veteran gardeners. Come see us in general. We would love to help you be green and grow.